watching, watching you, wa walking with you, leading and guiding you, okay, and, and giving you provision, okay. So anyway, I'm just saying be careful out there because, um, like I said, I, I had a verbal uh, altercation with somebody. You know, I'm not a talker. I'm an action word. You know what I'm saying? I could tell that the person was, uh, the way the person was looking at me is like he was discerning who I was because I was so bold. Don't try to discern me. Just stay out of my way. That's all I got to say to whoever resonates with out there. You know, because I, one thing I don't do, I don't bicker with dudes. I don't go back and forth with dudes. No, 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 no. It don't happen like that. I don't even bicker with females, but I know I'm not going to go back and forth with no down low. I know that much. And speaking of down lows, let me tell you one more thing, you ladies out there. You be careful of these dudes in the workplaces that you hook up with. Because a lot of them are hooking up with men in the workplaces when you're not around. Because they're, they're, they're gay. Okay? And I'm not saying anything about gay people, nothing bad about gay people as it pertains to that character. No. Because what you do is your business. You got to answer to God, not me. That's none of my business. What I am talking about are the ones in the workplaces that these women are hooking up with and they are hiding their lifestyles. I got a problem with people that hide who they are from other people and destroy the lives of other people. That's, that's what I got a problem with. I don't have a problem with nobody's lifestyle because it's not mine. What does it have to do with me? But I have a problem with people that are deceivers and misleading people and know that they want a man, but they'll be standing up in a woman's face acting like they want her. I got a problem with people like that. My thing is be who you are, be what you are, and give that other person the option and the choice whether or not if they want to be with somebody like you. Now, they can take it how it resonates. Now, so a lot of these females that are bickering over these males, why? You're sitting there trying to start something with another female. But who you need to be confronting is the male he's with when you're not around. Boom. Okay. Ouch. That's all I can say. Ouch. Because that's what's real out here. And then, you know, watch these males who are so aggressive towards women. Because that aggression is coming from somewhere. Because evidently, he has mommy issues. And he will make his mommy issues your issues if you hook up with him. If you hook up with a bum like that that has mommy issues, that he's not man enough to go somewhere and get some psychological help to resolve, you're going to become his mommy. And whatever he wanted to do to his mommy, he's going to do to you. And that's why you're going to find his fist in your face. You be mighty careful. I don't know who I'm talking to out there, but you better watch yourself before you end up a statistic. Because one thing, let me tell you something. The devil can't fool me now. The devil can't. I know an abuser when I see one. You understand what I'm saying? And one thing about an abuser, one abuser will cover for another. One abuser will cover for another. And not only will they cover for each other, they, other, they will defend each other and they will look out for each other too. And then they will try to make you the culprit. Can I get a witness out there? See, birds of a feather flock together in every aspect of the word. That's the reason why you can walk in a church and you can see a group of troublemakers right and and I, I even heard a preacher speak on this years ago and it seems like they always find their own kind the backbiters find their own kind the gossipers find their own kind the liars find their own kind they're all heaped up they're all the same of the same substance anyway and then all the good people find their kind or they try to or if they can't find their kind they just sit in sit in the pews by themselves but my point is this birds of a feather flock together it is because they are of a kindred spirit that's why I say one abuser will defend another. One abuser will cover for another. Now, the only thing I have to say to the abusers at the gig, <laughs> you don't want me. You don't want me because I will destroy you. I will run you off of Father's planet. You better check yourself before you wreck yourself. You don't want me. Now, that's for whoever resonates with out there. Now, getting back to you ladies. Um... Let me tell you something, then I'm going to conclude. We live in a very sad world. We live in a world where women are designed to desire a man, to want a man. Okay? It is a man's responsibility to protect 
his woman to protect women period even if it's not his woman men are supposed to by nature have a protective nature as it pertains to women but when they don't that's not a man when they rather abuse you that's not a man when they rather confuse you that's not a man that's a piece of junk that's garbage that's junk that you need to stay away from that's why you need Jesus you need Jesus in your life to be your eyes and your ears so that you know to stay away from those types and stop judging people by their form and judge them by the content of their character because just because it has the shape and the figure of a man does not mean that it contains and can maintain the substance of a man so you need to find somebody that has the substance of a man because then you've got a real man and a lot of you ladies may be saying well you know I've searched the world over and I can't find that well if you can't find that honey you need to find Jesus and then maybe there's somebody out there that you haven't seen that he can order your steps towards or order their steps toward his steps towards you but you ladies out there you need to stop choosing these men apart from Jesus Jesus is father you understand what I'm saying so let father play the role of father in your life and if there's a man out there that he does not approve of you need to listen to father you need to listen to father even if it means and I know this might be hard for some of you to accept but even if it means you spending the rest of your life alone you're better off alone and safe than with a demon and in danger you understand what I'm saying let me say that again you are better off alone and safe than with a demon and in danger because I'm telling you that's what Satan is sending out there see Satan knows I can see him that's the reason why you ever had somebody give you a look where they're trying to read you they're trying to discern you see that's what I get off for of these males out here that may have other females fool but they can't fool me no Satan you can't fool me I know what you are sucker I know what you are trick I know what you are you punk B <laughs> please and that's for whoever resonates with out there. I know what you are. I'm pretty sure you put your fist in some female's face. But I tell you what, you won't put it in this one. Because you won't have no fist if you come for me. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> now, it ain't no funny laughing matter. But that's for whoever resonates with. You better check yourself before you end up in hell. That's all I can say. And I'm going to leave it at that. Take it how it resonates. So for you ladies out there, I'm telling you. I'm not saying you got to be like me. But I'm telling you. You got to be soldier minded in this world today, ladies, because the thief cometh not before to steal and to kill and to destroy. Don't let him destroy you. Don't end up in a casket because you hooked up with somebody in the workplace that you thought was the one. Yeah, he was the one. All right. The one to take you up out of here. I don't know who this message is for t today or tonight or this morning or whatever time it is. I don't know if it's after 12 o'clock or not, but whatever time it is, it's still dark outside. But regardless, you guys. You better take heed because warning comes before destruction. Warning comes before destruction. Now that dirty bouncer that opened his mouth to me, he done found out. No, I'm, I'm not like any other chick you, out there. Uh-uh. You don't shoot your mouth off to me and you don't know me. Because I'll destroy you. Take it how it resonates to whoever resonates with out there. So it is what it is. Don't nobody come to me looking like no clown and dressing like no clown with all that mouth because I'm not the one. And anyway, so now back to you ladies. Listen, I know, I know you need money. I know times are hard, but you better take it to the Lord in prayer. Stretch your dollars until you can be blessed with more dollars if that's your situation because it's better to be broke than dead. I, I'm, I'm just telling you and wait on the Lord wait I say on the Lord I don't know who this message is for out there but what the devil is using through these abusive men and through these DL men is he's using your finances against you because these men know that you need money so they'll try to prostitute you sell you out call you their bees their hoes that's a pimp and that ain't nothing to be proud of that's a piece of trash that's prostituting somebody's daughter somebody's auntie somebody's grandmama somebody's mama somebody's cousin that's a piece of filth that's trash that's not a man you ladies out there better get with Jesus so that you can see who is the example of a man and that's Jesus Christ so with that said God bless you all until next time bye bye